Entertaining Bracken L. Bakri, senior defensive lineman for BYU. One-on-one -on -one BYU Sports Nation All Access. Is he coming back for a senior season? Bracken, you led BYU football with 11 tackles against Coastal Carolina. How are you feeling physically after really a, a tough and uh, solid performance, statistically speaking? Yeah, it was, uh, <clears throat> I broke 100 tackles, I think, on Saturday, so it was a big day statistically for me, but it was, it was definitely a physical, physically demanding game, and, and me and Kyrus and, and Zach played a lot more snaps than we have in previous games, so we, we were definitely feeling it in the days, the days afterwards. It's, I don't think that's anything new compared to some of these other games we played, but, but yeah, it was definitely physically demanding, and and it was really fun. I mean, if we had another foot, you and me and, would, and, and a lot of these other interviews, we'd have a totally different conversation about how we laid our bodies on the line and, and those sort of things. But, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good day. You know, you can have a good day personally and still it's still a, kind of an unfortunate day as a team. Hey, isn't that interesting how a few feet can change the entire feeling and rhetoric of the storyline? Yet here we are, BYU 9-1 and one on the season. Still number 18 in the college football playoff poll, which was revealed this week. I don't know how much you care about the rankings, but what do you think about the Cougars in at number 18 following that loss to Coastal Carolina, who switched spots with you guys previously, and now the Chanticleers are number 13? Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate to, to move down in the, in the rankings. Uh, it changes some of the postseason game options for us and stuff, and I don't actually know. I'm not in those conversations or meetings, so I couldn't tell you what exactly it means for us. Um, I've heard a lot of chit chat chatter about it, but I mean, it's unfortunate. It's, it's not what you, we wanted to see, but, but you know, we put it on our head or Zach put it on his headband and, and we stand behind. We'll play anybody anytime. And, and sometimes that means you're going to lose games, but most of the time it means you're going to win games. Because we've uh, brought up the postseason. Do you have a preference on a potential opponent out there? Like if you could, if you could hand select an opponent, not in a New Year's Six game. Who would it be, or or what type of opponent would it be? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I to be honest, I just don't know the rankings very well to tell you what like for, to select from a possible list. It'd be awesome to play Utah. I don't know if they'll be able to. I don't know if the, they'll be eligible to play. So, uh, but it'd be and that would be cool. Um, I don't know that the, the Plac 12s Everybody's losing to everybody, and everybody's beating everybody. So I couldn't tell you what's going to happen there, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to play a, a team that runs the ball. Obviously, it makes me feel important, but, but whatever <laughs> whatever comes, you know, we'll play anybody. It'll be a good time. Bracken L. Bakri with us on BYU Sports Nation. Coach Kalani Satake and many of your teammates have been adamant that though the loss was really tough to swallow, you feel like you'll get better. Not every team can bounce back. Why do you feel confident that this team will get better following an understandably disappointing loss? Yeah. Again, yeah, it was it was disappointing. But you look at this team, and and this isn't the team that's that's you know we haven't been undefeated our whole time here. This, uh, yeah, we we win a lot of games, but losing isn't something that's never happened to us, and it's earth shattering. We lost before, and we've bounced back, and we know how to how to take strength from our family members and 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 move on from it and learn from it for sure. Uh, go through the film. And, and learn and grow. I think one of the reasons that we've won so many games this year is, is partially because of the loss we've taken in previous years. And we've learned from it. And we've learned how to, how to take on different techniques a lot better. And in the end, sometimes there's just a few things that practice can't teach you that games can, that we're and it's like, it's like in the heat, heat, when, when iron strike and iron, you're going to learn like, okay. And sometimes you just can't, it's really hard, even in scrimmages and stuff, it's hard to, to simulate those sort of sort of situations that you can only get in the game. And I think this, this coaching staff's really good at then taking those situations and, and, and learning from them and teaching us from them. Earlier this week, I asked your teammate Dax Milne, what is the most effective way to overcome disappointment and turn the page? And so I'm interested to get your take on that. I know that your coaches can tell you things, but how do you personally move on and turn the page now to San Diego State? You know, I'm not the, I don't think I'm the best person to ask. I think there's, I think of the 123 guys down there, I'm probably very, very low somewhere in the one twenties on, on taking it well and, and, and moving on. Sometimes the sort of things just sit in the back of my mind and just, you know, fester. So, but, it, but that's not a bad thing. You know, sometimes it's nice to have something festering in the gut when you, when you go play another opponent, you know, 
I, I don't know. I guess use it to fuel yourself. I, I, I'm definitely the wrong person to ask. If you want to learn about <laughs> bouncing back from stuff, there's 122 guys down there that'll tell you all, all these philosophical great things of the mind that I'm still unlearned in. I always appreciate your honesty. And maybe you're right. Maybe uh, some festering will uh, show up in a great way against San Diego State. Uh, speaking of the Aztecs, what's the scouting report on what they're going to try and do against you guys uh, on Saturday? Yeah, so we're, and we're still scouting them out. It's still early in the week for us. I know you, this is airing on Thursday, but um, we're, still, we're still early in the week. But from what we've seen, they, they run a lot of 12 personnel, which isn't, which isn't uh, uncommon from what they've done in previous years. There's somewhere around 80%. I think it's like 83% or something like that, 12 personnel. Uh, the next is 11, very few 10 personnel. So we expect them to try to run the ball, especially after our game on Saturday. We we expect them to try to hit similar similar shot spots and stuff. And so we're uh, we're scheming we're scheming to be ready for that and to be heavy on the edge and and different things like that. How much does what happened in last year's game at San Diego State, losing thirteen to three, play into motivating for you hosting them this year in December in Provo? Yeah, it's, it gives our it gives our team a really good chance a chance to to get a little revenge, get, get back on it and stuff. I wasn't actually at the game last year, so I couldn't tell you, like, I don't have some massive vendetta that I'm, you know, you killed my father, prepared to die sort of thing. I'm just there to have fun. It's senior night, have a good time with our friends and, and enjoy ourselves and, and win a football game together. All right, Bracken. Um, senior day for BYU, and I know this is a weird year because – we're not really sure who's going to come back and who is actually playing their final game and all that with the COVID stipulations and, and the allowances for an additional year. Where do you stand in all of that? Yeah. I'm, uh, I, funny that you asked this week. I'm, 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 I'm pretty deep in trying to decide I'm, I'm torn. I've got a lot of, a lot of pros and cons to both. So I, I couldn't give you an answer on where I stand, but uh, I'm just, I've enjoyed a great season. It's been a great time with with my with my friends. I've really enjoyed. So, obviously, I love this game and I want to keep playing it. Um, so I I couldn't tell you. There's there's I'm getting getting advice from people I respect and that I love, and that's what every, all the seniors are doing, right? We're all we're all getting advice from the people we love and trying to make the best decisions for us and our families. Fair Most enough. Most seniors are married. I, I would I would say, I, I bet you ninety percent of the seniors down there have a family, if not kids and stuff. It's crazy. Okay, well, and you're in those ranks, so uh, I need to ask you how do how do uh, how do the, the in-laws and your wife feel about the beard? <laughs> well, it, this isn't a beard, mind you. It's a couple. It's a little shadowy. Uh, give, <laughs> you know, sometimes to, yeah, a couple of days you don't shave. Well, what were you like? Wow, how'd that get there? Uh, my <laughs> wife likes it a lot. It's I think one of the reasons you see me in the shadows sometimes is because I'll go to shave it. She's like, whoa, 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 what, what are you doing? Don't shave yet. So no, it's this is you know a little bit of shadow. I wouldn't. I would definitely wouldn't call it a beard by any means. <laughs> Bracken El Bakri in his shadow with us on BYU Sports Nation. Hey, best of luck against San Diego State. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Congratulations on an 11 tackle performance. We look forward to seeing a 10th win for BYU on Saturday. Thank you.